Today we are back in solo queue and we are just waiting for this last guy to ban a hero. There's so many heroes that you can ban and you chose not to. I've noticed a lot of people really like to take naps during hero selection. But that is fine, at least we're able to ban Kimmy, but the enemies ended up picking 1-1. One, one. A very difficult hero to play against in the gold lane, so we gotta take out our best marksman for the job. And you know how it goes for marksmen. Nice. The longer your hair, the stronger you are. Yep, we are in for a good game here. The enemies pick Cho, who can easily get to us. They also have Ling and Kadita. It's gonna be a really fun match for me. And now that we are in the game, let us head over to our gold lane. I see that our Estes in the map is heading towards the same direction. So our number one goal in this lane is to harass this 1-1 one -one using our long range and completely regret it because there's a fish lady hiding in that bush apparently. But that is fine because any damage that we take, we can just ask Estes to heal us up. And we can really be aggressive as long as we keep these enemies away, they shouldn't be able to fight back. And we can also treat ourselves with a nice hot crab soup since the enemies are busy clearing the wave. This Kadita looks like she was trying to save her seafood friend. Or she might be telling us that after eating a warm bowl of crab soup, it is best to follow it up with fresh sushi. And it looks like it made this cat girl really mad because she was saving that sushi for later. Oh crap. I know we had some fun times together, Estes, but I will remember your sacrifice. I really appreciate this Estes helping me out and babysitting me in this lane, but our teammates can't do the turtle without you. So how about you go over there and leave me alone because I'm pretty sure I can handle this fight all on my own. And that's what I would say if there isn't a fish lady here trying to drown me until I die. Fortunately, healer boy here is dedicated to his job. So I'm beginning to notice that this Kadita isn't leaving this lane anytime soon, just like the Estes that we have in our team. And that's good because if she leaves, who else is going to defend their tower? Definitely not a dead cat girl, am I right? But I wonder how this fish lady is going to defend their tower. Oh, I see. She's uh, trying to defend it by showing off her Olympic diving skills. And as a part of the judging committee, I am going to give you your prize, which is a trip back to base, but it doesn't seem like she wants it. So we really are stuck with this Estes, and I really don't mind, he's been really useful. Especially when this fish lady isn't done showing off her amazing diving skills. But I bet she's tired, she really needs to uh, take a break from all these diving. Swimming is a uh, really tiresome activity after all. It is so tiresome that I get tired just thinking about doing it. Meanwhile, we could probably help our jungler in fighting this cat girl and bad boy. But at the same time, I plan to not die as much as possible so let's just go back to our lane. I'm gonna bet my balls that the fish lady is still in this bush. And there she blows. She really wants to do that TikTok uh, one shot one hit Kadita combo, right? I'm sure she's gonna be able to pull it off one of these days. But for now, since this 1-1 one -one was able to pull off an ultimate, we'll just uh, lie down and take a break. Unfortunately, because the enemies were successful in diving us under our tower, we have lost our first tower. I really wasn't expecting that. Me and Estes, we were doing a really good job. But that is fine, no tower in the top lane means I can go wherever I want and at the same time kill whoever I want to kill. But of course it would be nice if we can also take down their top lane tower so I'm going to let these minions do it because I don't really feel safe being alone here. Another tower in the top lane has been destroyed. Man, somebody in this team isn't doing their job. And that is probably me, but that is fine. It doesn't look like our teammates have time to chat and tell me how bad I am at defending towers. It's a good thing that we are securing our kills because that makes them think that I am doing a really good job being their marksman. Meanwhile, this Cho is trying to pull a fast one, the fastest way to go back to base. Meanwhile, I see our jungler trying to take down this Lord. That's a good idea since the enemy Ling is dead. So in the name of Team Spirit, we are going to help him the best way that we can. And also, can you take care of that uh, top lane for me? 
because I got more important matters to attend to like maybe take down this mid lane eventually but bad boy is being too annoying. So why don't we be a team player and head to the top lane because my teammates could really use our help. And you know I can be really helpful especially in securing our kills. Finally a chance to take down this mid lane tower or maybe a chance for this Kadita to die by my hands. My, my hands are called Nana. <laughs> Alright, at least we have taken care of that tower finally. But our job doesn't end by taking just one tower. We must have another one. And we might have been able to take another one if we didn't run out of minions. It's a good thing that Kadita isn't running out of determination to dive us. Now here's a pop quiz for you. Is blue buff really good for Layla? The answer is yes, especially when you can annoy the enemy jungler by stealing it. Unfortunately, he used Retribution, so we better tell our teammates. Oh, it's probably one of those times where I let my cat play and he trash talked my teammates. So it's uh, totally not me. Alright, the Lord is available and the enemies can't even get close. We can definitely get this Lord, but it looks like our jungler is trapped in the top lane where he shouldn't be. So why don't we go ahead and pick him up? Uh, it looks like all we're picking up is his dead body and we also need to get away from all these enemies. But have no fear, we have Estes here to pray over our dead body so that our souls can finally rest. This is not good. The enemies just got lord and it looks like they're tabling the turns on us. But that is fine. As long as we stick with our teammates, we shouldn't be afraid of fish ladies or uh, cat girls. There is no reason to fear any man except that thing, that, that TikTok Chinaman. It scares me. Uh oh, it looks like the enemy Wan Wan is popping off and I'm also popping like a balloon. The enemy team is slowly catching up, aren't they? But they are not catching on to the idea of our teammate Aldous destroying their top lane. Good job, buddy. And now that we are alive again, why don't we take care of this uh, cat girl problem our team is having here. She's taking on four enemies at once. I would have taken Wind of Nature, but I don't want Estes to feel bad. If I don't have low HP, how is he gonna heal me, right? This Ling thinks he's so smart hiding in that bush trying to steal the Lord. What he didn't know is Cho is uh, way smarter. Fortunately, our team was very successful in taking down our Lord. I just hope that they retreat now and stop messing with the enemies before we regret it. So let's encourage them by not joining them and I am really sorry about that Ricky. I was actually about to ask what wisdom you have for us today but instead I pulled the trigger. I am really sorry about that buddy. You guys start the Lord whenever you want. I'm just gonna stay here. Actually the Ling is trying to push our mid lane. Why don't we take care of that by going back to base. It is much easier to defend the base anyway if we spawn from there right? Oh no. I think we just threw the game but hopefully our teammates don't all die. And they didn't. Unfortunately the enemies got the Lord for free and now we have to get rid of it without dying to this Cho. Okay at least he's running away gives us a free time to uh, take care of this Lord as fast as we can while our teammate Aldis is distracting them. I think he's really doing a good job. What's up Ricky? No more hard feelings about earlier right? And to celebrate the repair of our friendship, let me prepare a nice meal for you in the form of this Chinaman. And now that he's dead, we can probably push this lane but we got a 1-1 one -one problem here. A problem that lasted for 2 seconds. Now 3 of the enemies are dead. I just, uh, just hope that we have enough minions to finally take a victory selfie. But we only have one minion that the enemies took care of immediately so I guess this game's not gonna end anytime soon but here's another batch and all we gotta do is keep clicking that attack tower button and we should be fine. Shut up bad boy you're not gonna stop me from having a, um, a dead victory selfie. Well are, are you happy now? Are you proud of yourself that you ruined what could have been a nice uh, victory selfie? I'll take it anyway. Well that's about it I guess for our Layla vs 1-1 game. Layla's pretty good right now especially when you're lucky enough to get a proper aroma just like that Estes. But it doesn't happen all the time especially in solo queue so uh, pick her at your own risk. 
But that is it guys, I hope you enjoyed another solo queue game featuring Layla this time and I wish you luck in all of your games. And again, my name is Shin Mentagazo. Thank you so much for watching this video. Check out our other videos for similar videos to this. Subscribe if you want to get updates when I upload a new one. And always take care of yourself, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you guys again in the next video. Peace.